Hey guys, today we're showing you how to get some great fuzz sounds out of classic fuzz pedals. Fuzz. What's up guys, my name is Guillaume. My name is Chris. Welcome to a special episode of trying to nail different guitar tones. Yes, this, this is... is one of uh, my favorites because we almost never use fuzz on the show. And waited. Honestly. There's some pretty cool, there's some pretty cool stuff on the floor. <laughs> oh man. I'm, I'm excited. Uh, this, this is somehow like, it was requested. Yeah. Uh, on the, um, one of the uh, tone guys, blues, blues, uh, tone. I think so, yeah, yeah. Uh, by you guys as to how we would go about getting some uh, solid, if not great, <laughs> fuzz sounds out of like classic fuzz circuits. Somewhat usable fuzz tone. That's it. The thing is about fuzz pedals is obviously, you guys all know it, you love it or hate it, or you would like to love it, but don't really get it, or mm -hmm. just never, I don't know, put a rig together that really sounded yeah. great, or you just haven't found the kind of playing that works for fuzz. Because yeah. if you start chugging and palm muting, it's, uh, it's not gonna work at all. Yeah, for sure. So um, you really have to take care of a lot of things in your rig and in your playing to, to get the joy of fuzz. And once you get there, man. There's no going back. And we'll try to nail three kinds of, uh, well, not fuzz tones, but like ballparks of fuzz tone types. Yeah, that's it. How we use them, where we put them in the chain. We're not trying to hit specific tones of <laughs> artists or whatnot. Some of them will be reminiscent of, <laughs> of, obviously, we're using a fuzz phase. There's going to be some Jimmy, there's going to be this and that. Yeah. It's not the point. We're just showing you guys where we put them, how we dial them in to get some cool sounds. First Let's round, see, yeah. first round should be a traditional fuzz tone. Yes. Okay. Although I tend to gravitate to silicon fuzzes for stability and just overall reliability, they also do have a great cleanup. To me, the silicon cleanup is always like all everything or nothing. Yeah. And I like the more I I grow old and wise, <laughs> the more I like the sort of transitional aspect of germanium fuzzes and that really gritty sort of very organic cleanup. Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to use the first face, uh, the Dunlop uh, first face, the germanium version. Um, to me, there's only one good setting with fuzz, and that's fuzz all the way up for every fuzz, always. <laughs> like I'm going to be doing that throughout, and that's my setting. Volume. I tend to blast it as well. Uh, it depends on the amp. Though. Yeah, the like headroom of the amp. At home, sure. I would gun it, um, but here it did get a little bit too loud, so let's not. Uh, volume, yeah, to taste. Uh, and what I usually do is always run it into some sort of overdrive or some sort of... A uh, crank damp or an overdrive? Crank damp. Okay, you okay. Know. So what's your rig after the first phase? Uh, I'm just going into the double trouble on the clean drive side of it. Okay. And then I'll add uh, delay reverb and harmonic trim just because... <laughs> you do. <laughs> I, I won't put the trim on for now. Just some delay and reverb. Nothing, you know, too much in the way, but... Before you actually show your sound, let's do it this way. You play, start playing with the amp, yep. then I turn on the double trouble for the slight crunch, yep. and then the fuzz, yep. okay? So that everyone gets like what happens at which stage, okay? So we're going from back to front. Thank you, assistant. Ah, yeah, sir. I shall start playing now. <laughs>
I was about to say you saved it and then you didn't. <laughs> hey. I thought I was in drop D. <laughs> fair enough, wasn't. fair enough. Okay, so first thing that comes to my mind, first of all, I love the tone. I, Thank you. That's just so let's, nice uh, and wooly, but you still have the articulation for a fuzz. Yeah, sorry. Uh, which is the thing, like articulation and, and finesse yeah. and fuzz, yeah. uh, it's always a tricky thing, but if you can balance on that very thin line yeah. between total chaos and just not enough fuzzy to, to call it a fuzz, yeah. that's just so enjoyable. Because you don't want it to get too disarticulated when you, mostly if you stay in the neck pickup position, whether it's a single call or a humbucker and you go down the neck, and you started playing, you know, free five yeah. um, on the neck pickup mostly, then that's where you're going to start feeling the limitations of, of certain fuzzes. Yeah. Um, so, to me, the crank, cranked amp sort of driven aspect of it is going to solve some of that uh, because you you do get like a lot of inherent brightness out of uh, out of doing this with an amp. Would you play just a few notes and I'll turn off the drive after the fuzz? Yeah, yeah. So that you have the, the clean amp thing and the dirty amp I'll, I'll thing. S I'll stay around five yeah, and I'll just be on the next Just a very short just to, to see what happens. Yeah. Why most people would use a crank damp or an overdrive after a fuzz is to round off that, that fizziness. Speaking of clean amps, without an overdrive, without cranking the amp, I am in, uh, in going into the Marshall, which sounds like this without the fuzz on. the root. <laughs> the trem is so sweet on yeah. this one. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Distracted. Uh, this is going to be the Jimi Hendrix fuzz face, which is a silicon fuzz face. And um, I just, it's pretty much cranked. The fuzz is like 90% nine, on. And uh, this is how it sounds. The amp is totally clean, like yeah. as much headroom as a Marshall can give you, mm. and it's quite a lot, it's loud too, and it's not too fizzy, it's not harsh, it's not out of control, yeah. it's, that's it's a good fuzz. That's the and beauty that's where of the fuzz phase yeah. circuit, really. Yeah. Uh, you can hardly go wrong when you have 12 components on the board, as long as you know which components are on there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. Second round, and I have chosen something that's a little bit out of the way for this one. It's the Alpha Horn by uh, Old Blood Noise Endeavors, OBNE. What? I managed to say uh, Old Blood Noise Endeavors without I would have never stuttering. <laughs> I'm pretty happy about that, <laughs> not gonna lie. Uh, it's the modern take on the like do it all kind of fuzz. Uh, there's a lot of control, um, it's a hybrid. Uh, design with germanium and silicon. And so it you has can a three-band EQ. And the three-band EQ, yeah. uh, control over the gate, low-pass filters, um, the bias, obviously, of the diode. So you can get like any, I, I think it's a great fuzz if you don't know what fuzz to get, what fuzz might be right for you, because you can do a lot of experimenting with that one. Um, yeah, it's I just really a really like cool that unit. one, actually. I mean, it does the, the soft, pretty fuzz kind of thing. Yeah. 
Um, it does the articulate thing, yeah. it does the gated fuzz thing, and you can get really nasty and do me with cutting the mids and you know gunning everything. Yeah, like really mean tones. So that's a setting. Uh, that's a setting that I like. Uh, I think it'd be cool if like I'm gonna start with that one, and then if you want to mess around a little bit with it while oh, yeah. I'm playing. Sure, clean amp first. Good timing. That's good. I love that. It's so good and... Okay. <laughs> this is how a very good fuzz sounds. <laughs> okay. I like uh, that. Wow. It's a great take on the modern fuzz. There's a few of them that do that and that will allow you to bias different diodes differently and blend germanium and silicon so well. The, the uh, Keeley fuzz bender? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that yeah. one does it super well. Uh, super versatile, and it just kind of goes everywhere from overdrive to full blown, yeah. gated, hissy. Yeah, uh, everything, you know, yeah. It, it does it. I love the clean blend as well. Yeah. I, uh, I'm pretty sure our bass. audio video guy Phil, who wants this pedal for bass, yeah. it also works because you can, you know, blend 100%. in the, the clean. Whatever. Um, this is what I would call a timeless. Yeah, fuzz. it goes. Yeah. Because you can get into sort of vintagey kind of fuzz tones, like yeah, fuzz phasey kind of woolly yeah, tones, yeah, yeah. but you can also crank it and use it for whatever doom metal, whatever you want, because you have all the options. Yeah. Uh, that's that's awesome. I, I would I would do something more nasty for the second round. I'll grab the Les Paul I can and, see uh, that. and see where the Big Muff takes me. That's why it's called a big muff, because <laughs> it sounds very big. so big. It doesn't have a lot of mids. It does have a lot of top end and low end, especially low end. And uh, you can you can tweak it nicely with the tone knob, but yeah. it's it's a love and hate kind of fuzz circuit. Like yeah. it doesn't clean up that well as like a fuzz face circuit. Mm -hmm. So if you're into that, you will miss it. It doesn't have a lot of mid range, which helps you to be heard in a band mix. So you sometimes you have to help it with like something in you know, you know, overdrives. Yeah, and exactly. MPQs. Behind it or something. I hate like playing big mugs. <laughs> I hate it. I love what other people have made with it, but I don't like playing that. And that's exactly what you are experiencing with big, big muffs is exactly the reason why I hated all fuzz pedals for like mm. I don't know 15 years at least yeah. playing guitar because you have to understand certain things about the full rig yeah. to make a fuzz pedal, like a big muff, sound like 
an artist, you know that they use big muffs. Yeah, absolutely. It so depends on what you play. If it's a humbucker, a single coil, what kind of amp, uh, all of that, the rest, is there a buffer in front of it or not, etc. It's so complex. That's a good point. That's a good segue into addressing that as well. We not, we're not using our regular board today because the regular board has a buffered switcher with input and output buffers that is going to mess mostly with the vintage circuits like the first phase. Yeah. Uh, and also these are only like battery operated. So one good thing to keep in mind when you do that, if you use any sort of modern fuzz like the Alpha Haunt yeah. or you know whatever modern fuzz, um, you can slap that pretty much anywhere on the board. Uh, that's not going to be an issue, although sometimes you will still hear the difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, they do sound different, but they, they compensate for the buffer thingy exactly, in front of them, so you yeah. can put them after a fuzz and they will still do their thing and yeah. they will not change their, their tones totally like a fuzz space would. Well, if you have any sort of vintage-inspired fuzz, uh, the power versus 9 volt is a very complicated debate. Let's not <laughs> get into it, but... Using a battery into like vintage fuzzes like that does help solve like that buffering issue. You yeah. have your battery in your fuzz, you slap that first before board, going yeah. into your board. You just put that on the floor next to it, sort it, and you know you're not going to have any issues yeah. by doing something like that, uh, regardless of whether or not the battery affects the sound. <laughs> Which it does, but let's not talk about that. <laughs> Which it does. <laughs> let's ask Eric Johnson about that. That's it. <laughs> so cool. Third round. Could have used some more delay, but... <laughs> you went down the Ariel Posen, Joy Landreth yes. path, right? Yes, <laughs> yes. Um, oh, man. I'll tend to use the fuzz. I mean, again, this is very fuzz dependent and like it's gonna change drastic, drastically from one pedal to the other. But using the fuzz as a preamp and having that sort of edge of breakup, but fuzz-like, with that super hard clipping when you dig in, and something that's you know very overdrivey yeah, um, yeah. when when you just pick a little bit softer, um, it's like that's everything. Yeah, for it's me. unique. Like yeah. this is the like if 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 I were to just like have an always on pedal, it would be that like some sort of germanium wow. fuzz where you can have all of that wiggle room and just picking dynamics and almost no compression. Even maxed out, you still have that, like a little bit of flexibility there. Yeah, if you yeah. want to do like yeah. picks very softly, That's where the compression kicks in, if you dig in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also this warmness, this, like, all the soul. All the warmth. All in it, yeah. It's, uh, it's a special tone, and it's, I know it sounds nasty if you're not used to fuzz tones. Yeah, of course. That's exactly course. what you grow to love if you get into fuzz pedals. Yeah. Because that's what you don't get with anything else, and it's nasty, old-schoolness is what makes it so, like, goosebumpsy. Is that a word? Thank you. I like the goosebumpsy description. <laughs> <laughs> the goosebumpsiness. Okay, let me show you my, my favorite kind of using fuzz pedals, even in situations where no one would really want you to use a fuzz pedal. Okay, okay, I'm down. <laughs> Which is 
Pretty much the same thing as what we did until now, just with more delay, no. Uh, well, actually, yes, but um, I cranked the overdrive behind the fuzz more, yeah. so this is how it sounds without the fuzz. <laughs> Yeah, nice. now you hear the delay. Uh, it's a beautiful, super cranked, semi-distorted tone. Yeah. It's still an overdrive uh, amount of gain, but it's it's quite dirty. And uh, I have the fuzz phase, the um, the germanium one, yeah. uh, with a little bit less than maxed out fuzz and all the volume. Because in this moment, I'm using the fuzz as if it was like a tube screamer, yeah. which you would do to stack it into another overdrive pedal for mm. high gain. This is a kind of a solo sound I was using in like a top 40 band as well. Yeah. Where no one really wanted me to use a fuzz and it didn't fit in any of the songs, but I just didn't care. Because I wanted to have like, I wanted to have a fuzz as on the you board. Do. You're still a guitar player. I mean, yeah, come on. Like you do your thing. And I, of course, had to make it work. Like, how would you play the solo of uh, Alice Cooper Poison yeah. with a fuzz. Well, I did. So it sounded a little different because they were like, it's a of different course. fuzz with, into different overdrive, but a very different, very similar approach and a, a very similar vibe, yeah. for sure. So if you stick to the higher register, even with single coils, um, it just sounds like a really nice, round, mm. uh, high gain drive tone. Yeah. And as you go up to like the first you few, str the sixth string, hearing. it starts to muffle out and become like super fuzzy, but you can stick to like solo stuff and play a fuzz where only trained ears will tell like, ah, 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 ah. Yeah. You ain't fooling me, that's a fuzz. It's so complex and that's so much fun to discover and trying to conquer a fuzz yeah. pedal, like make it sound the way you want it. It's the biggest quest as a, a tone junkie and as a guitar player, and it's, it's just so much fun. 100%. There's a lot that we haven't covered today. Oh, yeah. um, please oh, do yeah. let us know in the comment. We know we like yeah. there's some octave fuzz. We can oh, go neck deep into fuzz. that, yeah. get it fuzz. Um, so let us know if you want to hear more. We can do a second round with more specific types of fuzzes, or maybe instead of octave fuzz, having like the Octavia in front of some other classic fuzzes. Uh, we can do like a tone bender, Mark, one, two, three, four, five comparison. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's a lot we haven't covered today. So please let us know in the comment section if you like this and if you want to see more, we'll happily do it because fuzz is life. Can you say fuzz one more time? Fuzz. Thank you. And you guys take it easy. Make sure <laughs> to leave a comment below, like the video if you enjoyed this one, subscribe to the channel if you like all our videos and of course check out the playlists and everything if you missed any of our... Other videos. Other videos. There are a few of those. Yeah. You guys take it easy. Bye. Bye-bye.